Hey Baby Leaguers, I'm Eric, and welcome to the brand new series, Millennial Dads. But before we get started, why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, it's just like right, right down there. You got it. I'll wait. All right, let's do this. Some of you may know me here on Baby League as the DIY Dad. Not a crafty bone in this body. Or you may know me as the guy who's best friends with George Stephanopoulos. The solution, so you don't have to repaint your walls, is right in your bathroom. It's just solid toothpaste, okay? Just take it right off. Get in there, George. <laughs> So you guessed it, we're bringing the DIYs back and today we've got three food DIYs to make your St. Patrick's Day awesome. Our first DIY on the list is the pizza dough shamrock with green dipping sauce. For this one, you'll need pizza dough, a jar of Alfredo sauce, and green food coloring. Start by rolling out your pizza dough into a thin snake. Then you're going to place it on a cookie sheet in a shamrock shape. Use your extra dough to fill in the middle with little dough balls. Beautiful. Then you're going to bake this guy at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. While that's baking, add a couple of drops of green food coloring to your Alfredo sauce. Stir it up and microwave for about 30 seconds. Shamrock's done, perfect. So after your kids have just devoured the delicious breadstick that you gave them, let's wash it down with some green cream soda. For this one, you'll need cream soda, a glass, and some green food coloring. Add a couple of drops to your beverage, give it a good stir, and voila, the drink of leprechaun champions. And of course, no St. Patrick's Day would be complete without a dessert, so how about we make a healthy fruit salad rainbow with a pot of gold at the end. It's rainbow time, so grab your marshmallow clouds, red strawberries, orange orange, green grapes, yellow banana, blue blueberries, and of course, your gold wrapped candies. Go ahead and slice your strawberries, your banana, your grapes, and peel that orange. Once everything is prepped, it's time to plate this masterpiece. Magical. Cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed these three super simple St. Patrick's Day foods. Leave us a comment below and let us know which one was your favorite. As always, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Baby League and come back next week for another episode of Millennial Dads. Bye.